What's going on guys? So today I have a Yabo. I just uh, opened the package. I got two really cool things there that I'm very excited about. So the note says it's okay to read on camera. It says, uh, hey Jeff, um, just wanted to thank you for the content over the years. Sorry for the uh, handwriting in advance. Uh, the optic is a Vortex Spark AR. Uh, I run this on my uh, Colt now uh, and love the lifetime warranty. Uh, the knife is a Protec TR4 Auto. I also hope everything is uh, going better for you and Christina after your loss. Uh, hang in there and cheers from Mac. On the bottom it says uh, hashtag save commie cut, which is uh, of course communist Connecticut. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> my uh, all my in-laws are uh, from Connecticut. When I have to travel there, I can't carry my self-defense um, weapon of choice. Uh, I do carry massive knives, uh, but it's just one of those things I actually have always wanted to get my carry permit there and go through that process, but I just don't have the time or the money. Uh, hopefully one day I'll be able to do that. At least it's an option, uh, eventually. It's not like in New Jersey or New York where it's pretty much impossible for someone like me to be able to get a carry permit. Uh, but anyway, that's nor here or there. So anyway, he sent me over a red dot optic. This is a Spark uh, AR. Uh, I've actually heard really good things about this one. I was in the market for one. I posted on Instagram. I want to trade for one. And he shot me over a message and said, uh, don't trade for one. <laughs> I got a package coming to you. Can't say anything else. So here it is. Very cool. I love the uh, you know quick little caps are on there. All right, push that to turn on, I believe. Yep. And then, of course, you can change the size of the red dot. Make it finer or larger so it's easier to see or more accurate out the distance. I think you maybe hold down. Yeah, there you go. I think it shuts off automatically after 12 hours as well. But I really appreciate that. That is going right on the AR. Um, just something I wanted to uh, eventually do is get a red dot for it. Originally, when we made the video talking about it, I said I was going to keep it bare bones. And yeah, you guys were all right. You know, that just doesn't happen. Um, I'd like to maybe get a separate one down the road. It's just not the time. Not the time to be buying. Uh, more people have bought guns this year than ever in history. Uh, so obviously, uh, stock is low, prices are high, kind of like, you know, day late uh, on that if you're looking to get into it. But anyway, that's that. Very excited about that. So most of you watching are excited about the knife here. We have a Protect TR4. Uh, love the uh, the sheath. Very nice. Uh, I don't think I've ever had this model before. I do very much like Protect. They make uh, amazing automatic knives. Uh, this one has a safety switch on it. All right, so up is safe, so the button won't accidentally actuate. Sorry about that background noise. Some guy enjoying the nice weather today on his motorcycle. Um, so yeah, switch that down, and there you go. Extremely comfortable handle. All right, you can see there are three finger grooves, finger choils. All right, it is a large handle as well, so even even for me, you can see how much handle is sticking out there. So if you have really really large hands, it will still be really comfortable. And there is a little bit of a finger shelf there. You can choke up to do some finer cutting if you need to. Uh, really, really cool. Very snappy, very strong auto. That is really, really nice. I do like the safety switch, just a nice little bonus. All right, you can see how this uh, backspacer acts as a lanyard hole as well. So I want to throw a lanyard on there. You are good to go. But awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, Mac. This was uh, above and beyond. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad I've been enjoying the videos for, uh, for a long time. Um, as far as Gus, it's it, it's hard. It's still hard, as you can imagine. It's going to take years and years for that uh, blow to be softened. Um, each day is just a little bit easier. Uh, I posted a video not too long ago that was uh, forgotten on my computer. Um, I thought I had posted it, but I didn't. <clears throat> it was the unboxing of uh, one of the Zippos that someone sent, which was really, really nice. Uh, it was a pocket strap, guys, I believe. I was editing the video and lost it a little bit there, but, you know, it happens. It's just It's just part of life. You know, um, I don't think I, I mentioned this before, but since Gus passed away, I have a candle lit every single day. I have those like, I, I was able to get some from the dollar store, the tall religious candles that last a while. Um, but these don't have any stickers and I don't need saints on or anything like that. I just want plain candles. Uh, but since he passed away, I've had a, a flame going every, every single day when I'm sitting around, just it's there. And it's kind of like, I don't know, maybe my way of coping with it a little bit. It's like, he's still there. That flame just represents his presence. So he's always here, you know, around us. But anyway, that's it. Um, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. This is extremely generous of you, and these will both get very much used. So hopefully you guys have a, uh, a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.